So in my last Crazy Rant video, I talked about AI and changes and how that's moving jobs around. And obviously AI is just everywhere. It's the new snake oil. Um, there's a lot wrong with it. <clears throat> there's a lot wrong with what people are telling you about it. But basically it, it sort of dawned on me, I guess rather late in the game at this point, that really what LLMs in particular boil down to is the ability for dumber people to program at a relatively high level for certain things. So prompt engineering is just another programming language. It's a high level programming language. It's a lot like English. There's been other attempts to do that before. Basic, beginner's all purpose symbolic instruction code for those of you who don't know. Logo, turtle graphics, the, the squeak, right? There's been a bunch of attempts to do this before. No problem, they're all good. Lisp obviously is, you know, early language processing. In fact, Lisp has way better language processing than we have. <clears throat> Lisp is impractical on modern uh, load and store architecture machines. Bet you didn't know that. I have a Lisp machine, a Xerox um, 1108. Was that the dandelion? Uh, you can look that up. I don't know if it still works. I'm gonna grab it out of the shed. In fact, if you wanna see a video on a working Xerox, 1108, or at least an attempt to get one to work, <clears throat> you know, a la the retro computer type channels, then uh, comment below. And maybe I'll pull it out of the shed and video myself trying to get it to work. And I've got Deoxit, uh, just from Adrian Black from Adrian's Digital Basement talks about Deoxit all the time. And I actually have some. I, I bought it quite before I found his channel and I, I've had it for a little while and yeah, I've, I've used it for a few projects. <clears throat> I don't know how well it works for connectors yet. I haven't used it the way he uses it. I used it to just around electronics because it's safe for them as a lubricant. But yeah, that machine probably needs a little bit of work to get up and running. But, uh, you know, if people want to see it, I, I would do that. That would be okay. I thought about it anyway. I don't know how long a video that would be, but it would probably be at least a half hour probably a couple hours, but, uh, you know, whatever, if, if my fans wish it. As early AI in it, it's got, um, <clears throat> early Lisp, it's called Interlisp D, and it was very good with language, actually, it had very, a bunch of features that nothing else has, is it AMD bit slice processor, uh, I think it's got two of them, actually, I don't remember all the details, it's been a while since I pulled it up and played with it, I used to have it up and running, um, it probably still works. Maybe it's got eight inch floppy drive. It's cool. It's cool. It's got postcode built in. It's a neat machine. Early ethernet. <clears throat> in fact, in fact, I think it's got TCP IP. I would have to check. But the advance in AI from large language models is mostly around programming using natural language. And the easiest and best type of programming actually is the thing that AI is good at, which is good, which is just grabbing data from sources, especially normalized data or close to normalized data and putting it in graphs and spreadsheets. <clears throat> and it's very good at that. And then once it's a spreadsheet manipulating it, sure. Writing macro language code was a big deal. It's fairly simple to do. It doesn't take a super smart person to do it. A lot of macro language is unnecessarily esoteric uh, and can be easily boiled down by a large language model or a backend system that understands those things. And so you have a very powerful tool. There's no question about the power of some of the things AI can do, but the expense is much greater than what's being talked about. But ultimately it really is just programming for stupid people. Uh, and I'm not, I don't think it's a bad thing, right? Like I'm, hey, democratized programming, sure, whatever. Uh, but you, you actually ultimately can't, and there will be a limit. And there's a bunch of stuff AI can't do. I've talked about that before, and that remains true. I don't think that's ever going to go away. Uh, complexity just moves. It doesn't vanish. It just moves. You take the complexity of the programming, you put it in the infrastructure. What's more expensive now, programmers or infrastructure guys? Infrastructure guys. And what's more expensive now, compiler tools and education on programming? 
or infrastructure, infrastructure, sort of just move the expense and complexity out of the skill of programming and into infrastructure, architecture, design, and management. <clears throat> That's the rise of DevOps. And hey, you know, good for me, kind of. I can do both. Uh, and I'm probably better at infrastructure, to be perfectly honest. I'm certainly not a, you know, top 10% tier programmer that's that's for sure but um yeah i mean at the end of the day uh the bottom line is we're just making programming more accessible uh to some extent it's a good thing to a large extent though i i don't think it's a good thing i think that there's already too much data people creating more isn't good the smart people the clever people will use it and do really good with it though. So eh, maybe it's a net positive. I don't know. Certainly we're telling everybody it's something that it isn't. And uh, look, I mean, I've programmed these things myself by hand from scratch in C. I got the books right over there on the shelf. Um, and I've been doing it for like 15 years. Like, this isn't new to me. Uh, and some of the newer tools are cool and I wouldn't code from scratch anything like LLMs. There's no reason to. Why reinvent the wheel? Um, there's plenty of optimization to go to, so things will get faster and smaller, because that always happens. Uh, but at the end of the day, way overhyped, way overhyped. Just something to watch out for. Look, it's the holidays. Probably not going to be any more videos for the rest of the year on this channel, and maybe not even on navigating patterns. Who knows? <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, hang in there. Uh, I might do videos on the road. I, I might do videos when I get back before the end of the year. <clears throat> I might do a ton of videos. Who knows? I don't think so. Uh, but in either case, if I don't have another video, Merry Christmas.